Hi, I'm Lauren with WellElephant.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to travel when you're going by plane and you eat a plant-based diet, specifically without oil, um, like you follow forks over knives or prevent reverse heart disease or Dr. McDougall. So it makes it a little bit tricky uh, when you're out on the road without oil. So anyway, this is how you get on a plane without oil. First of all, um, I don't know if this is what you do, but I always check my bag because uh, I have a lot of hair care products, I have a lot of shoes, and I have a lot of food. So uh, if you're going overnight, then you know you can probably scrounge up some soy milk for your coffee or something like that and eat the hotel oatmeal, but if you're gonna be gone a little while, pack an insulated bag with some cold packs. You can put your oil-free hummus in there. Cedars has an oil-free, fat-free hummus. It's okay, homemade is better, but this is good you know, in a pinch and to take on a trip with you. Um, I put that in there. I pack my oat milk, which I love. I put in my coffee, I put in my cereal. Um, that's going in my cold bag. It's gonna be closed, you wanna bring a sealed one, but I just like it, you know, that it's not gonna get knocked around and get poked and open up. So I put that in there. Um, if you want to pack a little bit of food for your room, you can do that. I pack things that taste good cold, like, you know, a pasta salad or a veggie burger, or I always pack this, I love this pad thai. Um, I like, trust me on this one, do not pack rice and beans, pack quinoa and lentils. They travel much better, they taste better cold. I pack a little kabocha squash. And this could be either something you eat on the plane, depending on the, the length of the flight, or something that gets packed into your suitcase. So that's going to be up to you. But again, just pack something for the plane that you can snack on that's going to taste good cold. A lot of times I bring a veggie burger for the plane. Um, I always have apples in my carry-on bag. They're, you know, pretty hardy. You can't bang them up. This will go a pack a big thing of berries or some other kind of fruit. I put it, you know, I'll seal it up with the top and put it in my cold bag. Um, and then I also always try to have some kind of like veggies, sugar snap peas or um, peppers, something like that to snack on in my carry-on bag. Uh, and I also bring, that's my cold bag, I bring a little bit of Mary's Gone Crackers, they're delicious, and I bring some of these guys, Scandinavian Fiber Crisp Breads, not as delicious, but high in fiber and low in fat, so you know, that's something I'm gonna pack either into, won't go in my cold bag, it'll either go in my carry-on bag or it'll go in just a bag that I pack into my suitcase. And then I'm also gonna pack some, I make some organic tor corn tortillas in the oven. I bake them at like 400, at maybe, maybe for like 10 minutes. Um, I bring like maybe eight of these. I like to have a lot because you will be surprised the amount of times that you will run into salsa and you want to have something that you can scoop it up with. You're not gonna be able to eat the tortilla chips in the restaurant, so you wanna be prepared. So I bring another little bag and I pack these down into my little bag and then I have tortilla chips and I bring these to the restaurant. So you need something to transport these. Um, and speaking of transport, for your oat milk, you're not gonna to wanna to take this into the restaurant, like if you're going to have coffee in the morning or some cereal. So you wanna have like a little, preferably leak-proof container that you can stick into your purse to take some oat milk into uh, the restaurant with you. If you don't have a leak-proof container, you're gonna end up just pouring a little oat milk in here and you're gonna to have to carry it on in because you do not want to put this in your purse and have an oat milk purse. I have done it before. It's not good. Ugh. Anyway, so make sure you have something to transport your oat milk with. Um, and I bring a gigantic thing of cereal. I absolutely love cereal. And I usually just have this as a snack. It's not even for breakfast because I can eat the oatmeal at the hotel. But what I do is I pack down three different kinds of cereals into one little container. I do a lot of oats, just raw oats, some puffed kamut, and I do a little bit of this guy for some flavoring. Um, it has a little bit of honey in it, so it's not vegan, and it's probably not the healthiest. So just a little sprinkling of this for flavor, but it's primarily these two cereals. Um, it's, 
just a lot healthier. And then what I do, I put it all in here. I put some raisins. I put a ton of cinnamon. I shake it all up. Um, if I were gone for like a week, I would have probably three times this much. Maybe not that much, but I'd have a lot. And then pack your bowl, pack your spoon, pack a fork too, just, you know, to eat the other guys that you brought along on the trip. But make sure you're prepared with all that. And if you need a snack, you have this. If you need breakfast, you have that. You can put your berries in it. Um, so that's really it for flying on a plane. But make sure you have something good to eat. Make sure it's not smelly because you don't want to be one of those passengers where you open up your broccoli and everybody's like, oh my God, who farted? What's going on? You know, try to pack something that's, and I've done that before. It's, oh, you, you really regret it. But just pack something that's not smelly. Make sure you have enough food for the plane. Pack your coal bag, pack it in your suitcase, and you'll be good. So I appreciate it. My name is Lauren. If you have any questions, if I didn't answer a question, please email me at lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, at wellelephant.com, and I promise I will email you back. And if you want to um, stay in touch with me, first of all, you can go to wellelephant.com and you can uh, download. I have a free three-day meal plan and grocery list. It's all plant-based, oil-free, and then you'll be added to my email list. And like every other week, probably, or every week, I'll email you a recipe or some kind of tip like this for eating oil-free, plant-based. And um, if you would do me a huge favor and like and share this video so other people who eat like us can have access to this information. It's really important to me to, um, to get that out there because I know it's hard for people to travel and to eat when you get away from home. And I have a full length video. It's like 16 minutes. I tried to break this one up a little bit, but it covers everything about eating out, staying at a hotel. So if you wanna watch that, if you want a more comprehensive video, I have that. But I really appreciate it, and I hope that you have a wonderful trip.